We're proud to be part of the family and uh, be the one that the pioneers to bring Jiu-Jitsu to America. It basically, everything comes from the, the big master, Eddie Grace. That's like it. He's the seed. He already said to be a champion. Basically, because he, he started putting me in gi like two, three years old. He make me train in two, three years old. He make a, a special diet for good food, good diet, good sleep. He trained a lot. My life depends on training whole life. And anything I want from my parents depends the way I'm conduct my jiu-jitsu in the mats. You know what I mean? So I'm be good jiu-jitsu fighter, so I'm compete, so I'm win. He give me what I want. You know, like little kid, I already have this process going. Then that's making me more taste for jiu-jitsu because I'm a kid. I cannot um, evaluation how much jiu-jitsu can help me. Because I'm a little kid, I never tasted this. I never had problems in the streets. After 16, and I start use more, and then I start feel my own how much jiu-jitsu can save me. When you're a little kid, you don't have this uh, this this analysis, the 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 the, the feel this for the future. You know, I train jiu-jitsu like have fun, play. My dad start giving me the habits to be in the mats, like. It, Spill me around, sweep. I start get comfortable in being this wall, like you know, in the mat wall. Purgi, make sure you get another student. A lot of people when they come in class sometimes shine himself to purgi first time. You know what I mean? I don't have this problem because I'm growing this way. You know, that's the reason I think it, that my daddy gave me the best, the best uh, home to be a champion. Well, basically I'm start compete six, seven years old. Little kid, yellow bells, it's orange bells. Uh, the orange bell, I stay like at six, six, seven years old to 15. And then uh, I stay all this time, orange bell. I never gr got a green bell because my old brothers got a green bell. And for the, my daddy, like, uh, he want to push the buttons because you see my temper. I'm the kind of the wild one at home. I'm the one who got really fights all my life. I'm the one who have more fights. Can one my brothers in street fights. That's surely my temper very hot. And then my daddy see you this, and then my daddy keep liking putting my old brothers like example to me. So I never can reach my brother's bell because my brother's two years old. Hall's two years old, Hall one year old. Hall and Hall's got a green. You gotta keep your orders forever because you cannot get a, a, a adult bells before 16. Automatic when I got a 16, I jump for brown bell because I'm have so time, so long orange bell. Yeah, I know pass for the bell for like seven years. I keep same bell because my daddy wanna put me like my bro, old brothers like exam. And then when my brothers got a uh, a green bell, my brothers jump from 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 brown bell, and then two years in brown bell, and then got a black bell. I spent like seven years in brown bell too. My daddy gave me real hard times. I miss up in school and uh, he feel like tight the buttons for making me a good boy <laughs> in jiu-jitsu. I have 26 years in competition. I start six, seven years old. In the last competition, my last year in Brazil, I have 32 years old. I live 11 years in America. And then my last year in Brazil, uh, I compete in black belt in two different divisions. Every time I compete all my life, I'm national champion for 26 years, undefeated, and then every time I compete, I compete in two different weight classes. Orange bell, I go in my weight, the open division. Brown bells, I go in my weight, the open division. Black bell, I go in my weight, the open division. I never get defeated, um, never miss one tournament. Any tournament you pass, I'm be in. This is because my dad association train, discipline, and the pleasure. When I win the tournament, he give me the pleasures. So I don't win the tournament, he take the car away, you know, he don't give money. And then that's the reason I got a real shark for B because I have a lot of concentration for the tournaments because that's my happiness. Well, basically my intention when it come to America, it's, um, it's uh, because I start seeing so many competitions in Brazil, so many schools, and then I try to try, um, like my brother, the first one come home, he's starting to do Jiu-Jitsu to America because he see this big world, American as a big country, and then Jiu-Jitsu is like a, nobody knows Jiu-Jitsu in this country. 
Yeah, I see like a good opportunity from us, Gracie, come here introduce this for America. What you can see right now, uh, America today is going around Jiu-Jitsu, whole country talking about Jiu-Jitsu. Então, I think it's did a good thing in bring Jiu-Jitsu to, to the American. My first three, four years in America, I work very hard and then I yeah, try to introduce my class. More in the time I come, they talk about it. Like, 10 years and 11 years ago. It's hard to introduce something you nobody know. I try to give some classes that people don't believe you can. Something can come from Brazil effect like Jiu-Jitsu. I try, guys, you guys want to take class. Yeah, a lot of people would say, oh, you... Yeah. What is kind of jiu-jitsu is this? A jiu-jitsu is from Brazil. And the guy, where, where Brazil are? People don't know where is Brazil are. And then this start giving me some problems to get students because people don't believe in the effect of jiu-jitsu are. It's hard to introduce this. And then I got a one-on-one, I show them a team on. It's hard to make students when people don't know the martial arts. And then it's in this Monterey. And then I moved to Hawaii. And then the people in Hawaii real appreciate and they start come very into too. And then I be I moved to to uh, Hawaii in '87. And then before that, uh, no exist jiu-jitsu in Hawaii too. And then when I'm starting to do so uh, jiu-jitsu in Hawaii and it start come more popular, people start know. And then Hawaii in '90s '91, Hawaii was starting to do the Gracie action tapes. It helped me a lot bring students because I start seeing the tapes about the family in Brazil. And then I start giving my private. I have, I have a friend in my house and I make a mat in the garage. And I start doing my privates day by day. I start introduce Hawaii people really like martial arts. It don't start come more easy for me because Hawaii people have more experience in martial arts. Like in Monterey, Monterey is more, more quiet town. So people not too interested in martial arts. Not like Hawaii. So the web series is be growing for the Grace family. The Grace family is growing for the first time in America. An event like it, stripes going, everything's going because it's outlawed before. Mm -hmm. If for some reason never exist fights like this, the real fight, you can see with the, um, uh, the wrestling federation, but that's not real. You know, you see the box, but that's the, the only stand up fights. You see the, the karate, kickbox competitions. Tough kickbox, tough fighters, but that's only as a, a sport way. It's not like a real everything's going like UFC show. And then this take a lot of attention for the public because people see the release a survival match, and then that's come the popular here, UFC or street fight shows right now, because the people see the release fights and then you can prove your real scale, your real uh, ability in the martial arts. When you survive with UFC, that's hard. You know, see champions like Royce keep the pole like uh, one, two, three undefeated. Mm -hmm. You see Shamrock win here, next day lost, seven lost there, lost here. You don't have a regular champion like Royce. And then he proved how much effect he are and how much um, the techniques work. Well, I have a pleasure. They have all the association start growing a lot in the whole country. And then People start association to us, call us for class, us come first for seminars, class, and then people start to get adapt to. And then for us, it's very important to have these people around because what it can be the Grace families, you know, having friends like these people, you know, associations. These people will support the Grace family. I want to say thanks a lot for all the support. And then when I see you people get adapted to Jiu Jitsu, you interest in Jiu Jitsu, you want to push the things to go in and then represent us in different states. It's a lot of states in America and then you don't have a, a grace to live there. You don't have a grace to, to teach there. And then I'll try to help as much as I can. Let's travel around to a couple weeks here, a couple weeks there, to make Jiu Jitsu uh, get support to this kind of schools, to train associations to support us. And then the guys have the opportunity to have, to have in Philadelphia, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu Association, come have in Ohio, New York, Arizona, um, a lot of different places now have associations in them. I feel real comfortable to come here support you, this kind of schools. And then um, that's part of the team. And then uh, thank you guys for keep supporting us a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.